So today we're talking about five cheap and easy props that you can use on your next Smash Cake portrait session. Welcome back everybody. My name is Daniel Troutman with the smashcake.com, your online resource for all things Smash Cake. And today we're talking about props, specifically five cheap and easy props that I use on just about every one of my photo sessions. Now, before we get started, I want to mention that everything on today's list will apply to everybody, whether you're a professional or you're a mom and dad at home doing a DIY shoot, it does not matter. Everything on today's list will apply to everybody. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into today's list. The very first thing on this list is probably my absolute favorite, and I'm supposed to save that till the end of the video, but I'm going to trust you guys. You guys are going to watch all the way to the end anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and give you my favorite right here, right now, and that is the fake present. Okay, this is an Amazon box whose destiny is to become a fake present on a Smash Cake set. And all I have to do is wrap wrapping paper and ribbon that matches my set around this box and Bob's your uncle. I've got a whole bunch of presents in the background. And the beautiful part about that is you can stack these on top of each other and get color and get whatever you need higher. Okay, so if you have gaps in your set and you want to get some color up high up off the floor, stack a bunch of these fake presents and that will do the trick. Now, as you can hear as I, I move this around, it's got something inside and that is how you are going to make more money. So listen up. You're going to take this fake present and you're going to put something that rattles inside this box and then you're going to wrap it with whatever color paper you need. And when you are on set, the child is going to grab that box and shake it and they'll do that for like five minutes. And the whole time, while they're doing that, what are you doing? You're capturing amazing portraits of them rattling that box and upping your sales average. So, take a free box, wrap it into something special, throw something in the box, and make more money. Now, safety note, whatever you put in the box cannot be a choking hazard, okay? Because kids like to eat things and that would just be horrible. So, fake present, make sure it's no choking hazard inside, and make more money. The next thing on our list is absolutely ridiculously cheap for the value that it provides, okay? I'm not overselling it when I say that these tissue paper pom-poms are probably one of the most used, most common used props for a smash cake session. These things are miracle workers because you can fill an entire set with a massive amount of color for like no money, all right? This package right here, that's, there's three pom-poms in here. And when you unfurl these bad boys, you take them out of their package and just let them rip. They, they are about the size of a volleyball. So they are huge pops of color and you get three for like $2.50 on Amazon. Okay, I love these things. I'm like wicked excited right now just talking about these things. They're amazing. Okay, so if you're not using the tissue paper pom-poms, you really need to consider them because they're dirt cheap, all right? They're non-toxic. Non uh, the kid can't hurt themselves on it. And if the child doesn't touch them, you can bag them back up and store them in your prop closet and reuse them. So they are a wonderful way to really just fill out your sets and do it on the cheap. So the next thing on the list is balloons. And when I say balloons, I know the inner child in you and me is like, yay, balloons. Everybody loves balloons. That's not a secret. I don't know why I'm whispering, but everybody loves balloons, including the children that we are photographing. And the best part about that, again, like the fake present, you can give them a balloon and they will play with that thing for 15 or 20 minutes and giving you plenty of time to create amazing portraits of that child playing with that balloon. And ultimately that's gonna up your sales average. Now, reason number two from a set design standpoint, balloons are amazing because you can fill them up with helium and float pops of color up high in your set. And you can't normally do that without employing, say, a light stand and some fishing line and hanging things from it. And whenever you do that, well, it just becomes unsafe. So anytime I can use balloons to get pops of color up high off the ground in a smash cake set, I always choose the balloon over some sort of contraption that might hurt the child. Now, for those of you already using balloons, definitely uh, you're going to want to click the link that I put up here to a video on where to source cheap helium, because if you're buying your helium from Target or Walmart, I'm afraid to tell you that you're just being mugged, all right? They charge an exorbitant amount for their helium, and if you click that link and you watch that video on where we source our helium, you'll find out where you can get cheap helium, and the best part is, is that you can buy it local in your town. 
So the next thing on our list is uh, another one of my favorites. It's what I like to call the basket o bears, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It is a wicker basket that we source off of Amazon and we spray paint it whatever color we need to to match our set and then we load it down with stuffed bears. Now, if we're doing a high key set, I will spray paint the basket whites or some sort of bright color and I will load it down with bright colored bears. And if I'm doing a dark set, I will spray paint a dark color on that basket and use dark color bears like my friend here. Now, here's the thing about my friend. Okay, this this little guy right here, uh, he's stupid expensive. I bought him off of Amazon. This guy was about $15 for one bear. Okay, so if you're doing a bear basket where you're stuffing about 20 of these little buggers into a basket, it's gonna get pricey really quick. So what I want you to do is keep your eye out the next time you're thrift shopping at Goodwill or wherever. Go ahead and look for secondhand bears. Now, if you're gonna do that though, you have to make me this one promise. You have to take whatever money you save on buying secondhand bears and put it towards having these little buggers professionally disinfected, okay? Because the last thing you wanna do is have a little creepy crawly come off of this guy and land on your client. It's completely unhygienic for your client and it would be catastrophic for your business. So please, if you're gonna secondhand source your bears for the bear basket, please, oh please, disinfect the bears. All right, you guys, well, we hit the last item on the list. And before we dive into it, I do want to ask you guys if you've enjoyed the content today, definitely like it. And if, uh, you know, you want to find out what we're doing at thesmashcake.com, you can definitely subscribe. And every time we post a video, you'll be the first to know. So definitely uh, pursue those options if you're interested. And let's get into the last item on the list. All right, you guys, it's that time. We've hit the last item on the list, and unfortunately, it's probably something you guys are already using. And of course, I'm talking about the banner or the pendant that we all use on our Smash Cake sets. Now, the difference is, and the food for thought that I want to give you, is that instead of buying them off the rack at Hobby Lobby and using a banner that anybody, any Joe Schmo photographer can get his hands on, why don't you instead create a banner for each client custom, a custom banner for every client. Now, we have directly attributed this to higher sales averages, and it's one of those weird, stupid little things that you would not expect to make you more money, but it does. We bring our parents in for a consultation, and we talk to them about what their child is into and what colors they like, and we tell them, okay, well, great, we're gonna make a custom banner to match the set so that it's unique and it's not something that anybody else can have. And just by telling them that, it just, I, I couldn't believe it, but by doing it and making good on that promise and creating something custom for them, it gives them a more unique and boutique experience and it, it makes for a better overall experience. And when you compare a great experience with great images, it just makes your time in the sales room that much easier because they buy more and they love you and they thank you and hug you on the way out the door. And it all starts, it all starts with a stupid fabric banner. Okay, we literally buy fabric at the fabric store, we cut it into triangles, we buy a ribbon and we fabric glue the triangle to the ribbon and that's it. But it makes us an incredible amount of money. So it's food for thought, try it if you want to, Don't you don't have to, but it definitely makes us money and I just, I wanted to share that little tip. Well, there it is, that's five cheap and easy prop go-tos that we always go to here at the smashcake.com. Now, be on the lookout for way more videos like this because we have way more than just five prop go-tos and we want you to learn them all, so definitely consider subscribing. Now, for those of you who want to satisfy your video binge watching needs, definitely look at one of these videos that are hanging out over here. And until next time, guys, I'm Daniel Troutman with thesmashcake.com. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.